than just a club match. Well, a little bit of rivalry, you might say, and so many world-class players out on the pitch here. Well, what about this game today? There's no points or progress at stake, but it's uh, a chance to try one or two things out. Yeah, I think so. The managers will enjoy maybe trying a, a variety of tactics and uh, different from the ones they would normally play in competitive football. Could be interesting. Well, there's no doubt that the three up front for Barcelona, Messi, Suarez and Neymar, as good as anything I can ever imagine seeing in the successful season 2014-15, I mean, you don't see many three-pronged attacks anyway, but to assemble one of that quality, I certainly can't remember another one quite like it. Alan, I was here for the 82 World Cup final. You were still probably a schoolboy then, watching it on the television, but it was a, a special setting for, obviously, the fixture in world football. Yeah, it's one of those places. Is there a finer sight than the Bernabeu packed to the rafters? And with those Galacticos, the white shirts, grace in the surface, knocking in the goals. Real Madrid looking good with this attack. And here's the shot. They've still got an opportunity here after the goalkeeper parried it. The players haven't put the ball out, they're playing on, but the referee said no. He's worried about the player and he stopped the game. He's going to come off, I think. Yeah, he's signalled to the bench, he can't carry on. Yeah, he's one of those lads that doesn't come off easily, but it looks quite a nasty one and it might keep him out for a few weeks. And there's going to be some activity from the bench for Barcelona. Well, there's some etiquette to be observed here at the drop ball after the injured player has gone off. That's gone out for a goal kick. Here come Real Madrid. In with a chance. He's reached it, but I don't know how. The corner to be taken. Can they turn it into a golden goal? And he's going to shoot. Oh, goodness me, in that situation, the match there for the winning, he's made a real mess of it. It's always tight in extra time, but that, it was a golden opportunity. I think the pressure got to him, Martin. Real Madrid looking for a win, but it won't be a formality, Alan. Well, you wouldn't imagine so, looking at the way this team is shaped. Brilliant opening. Ah, oh, he takes the shot. Still in play here. Sergio Busquets challenged quickly by the opposition Karim Benzema well it could all be over in a flash if they get this attack right remember the golden goal rule is in effect chance for him and he takes the shot the keeper really stretched and he's made a fine diving save it's a fine tackle and the opposition caught coming forward there might be some gaps here Safe hands from the keeper from that shot. Supporting player alongside. Not a good position by the defender. They've got past him. Yeah, and he's slow on the turn to go with it. And the attacking now. Oh! And that's the first goal of this a very important game. So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here, 1-0. What help there is arriving is coming from the right-hand side. Close range chance, and here's a shot now. And it's a goal, and they are level. Well, that was the equaliser, and it's 1-1.
came in with the challenge and the ball broke free just a little dink pass forward there could be a goal got to be he's blocked it he got there just in time in the end a fantastic clearance and there was danger but he's cleared it and that's the half-time whistle from the referee 1-1 at the break it is level at half-time and that doesn't reflect what we've seen does it no, it's been uh, all one way, and I can't believe that uh, the dominant side is not ahead by at least three or four goals. So here we go for the second half. Got the tackle in. Attacking well here. They've kept the ball, he's just... Here's, here's the chance! And that's the keeper's athleticism there to make that save. Possibly a decisive moment here, a chance for the golden goal from the corner. Here's the cross, Luka Modric with the cross. Goalkeeper can get the ball here for his goal kick. He's brushed the defender aside. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And here's the shot. Goalkeeper in the firing line. A blockbuster of a shot. Now here's a chance, here's a chance to win it by the golden goal rule. He is the governor general of this team, passed it, gets it back, passes it again, wants it back. Defender's done very well to clear that. Well, we're going to have a change now. And the manager trying something different in the hopes of getting his team in front. And here's the shot. Great hands. Now they've got the ball and they're on the attack. And they could make it the final attack of the game if they score. Karim Benzema. Oh, muscle's gone for that player. Karim Benzema. Time ticks on and the side's still locked here in this wonderful contest. Good challenge. It's confidently done to dink the ball into a teammate like that. Well, we're coming right down to the last knockings of the game and Real Madrid still one goal away from winning this game. He's got to score! Oh! Oh, the ball's got in and that could win them the game. The scoreline is 2-1. Well, you've seen the golden moment, the golden goal that decided the game, and it was quite a game. Yeah, and it rewards the team who can show that little bit more adventure. And I think the winners here were that team. Great way to finish a game. The golden goal rule still gets the tingle going, doesn't it? The hair stand up on the back of your net. There's no way to come back from it. We'll be back, though, sometime soon. Alan Smith and Martin Tyler saying, hope you've enjoyed our company. We've enjoyed yours.
Goodbye for now. Well, that's an absolutely amazing game of football that we've all witnessed here. Until the next time, this is Martin Tyler saying goodbye.